So begin today, I'd want to ask a question. Do you know what day it is? I don't know about you, but there's been days when I've asked that question and not had an answer, or it's taken me a while to find an answer. Every day seems to run into the other, and our routines have been disrupted that, yeah, what day is it? Um, the reason I ask that is I want to focus um, this little reflection today on, on the Lord's Day. The Lord's Day that throughout our lives, we've as Catholic Christians, we've always set aside through rest and through worship, observing the Lord's Day. We do so, it's a commandment. It's a duty given to us by our God, but it's also an opportunity. An opportunity, one, to be like God, God who rested after six days of creating this wonderful and beautiful world. He rested and calls us to do the same. But also it was a, a gift, an opportunity for the Israelites who had been freed. Um, even though they were freed from the Egyptians, they needed that opportunity to change their mentality, not to think and to act like slaves. And so it was a, it was a way to keep the Sabbath, was a way for them to not to be like slaves, but to live as free people, to live as God's sons and daughters. And that's the opportunity that's always for us in celebrating the Lord's Day. Obviously, it's very different for us today. We, yes, we can come together with our families and we can watch a, a live stream and pray together with that live stream mass. But how else do we keep the Lord's Day holy? How do we set Sundays apart? And that's the challenge I want to give to you and, and to me as well, is to make that Lord's Day holy. What can we do? In addition to, to um, participating in mass, could we focus in on the Lexu Divina, praying meditating with the Lord and as he's speaking to you and to me today in, in Holy Scripture. Perhaps it's doing something special in prayer with those that you live with, the family that's there. Perhaps it's it's reaching out to somebody, a neighbor in need, or just spending time with somebody that you might not have spent time with. Perhaps it's just getting together once again and doing something different, having having a meal where you intentionally you know, share in what's going on in your lives. There's so many ways that we can keep the Lord's Day holy. And remember, the purpose of it is, is so that we don't get enslaved into our routines, into our distractions, into whether we're working or not, and in, into just being enslaved into that. But it's an opportunity to live as those intentional disciples, to, to take the Lord's Day is an opportunity to, to share his love, to be caught up in his love. Obviously, we don't only do it on the Lord's Day, we do it every day. But how could we make the Lord's Day special this week and throughout our lives? And to that end, um, there'll be some opportunities that we'll be sharing with you um, from our parish to you about how to do that with your family. And so um, I continue to hold you in my prayers, and may God bless you.